During the latter half of the 14th century, a dog fought a duel by order of the king. Or not. Some believe it's a folk tale. Some believe it's a legend. Some believe it's true history. In a nutshell, the story goes like this. In 1361 or 1371, during the reign of Charles V, in or near the town of Montargis, a courtier named Aubry de Montdidier was murdered by an envious rival named Robert or Richard Macaire. And he was buried in a shallow grave in the forest of Bundy. Montdidier's faithful dog, worried when his master didn't come home, got out of the house and tracked Montdidier's scent to all the way to the forest, found his body. There the dog also found the scent of Macaire. The dog may have stood morning vigil over Montdidier's grave for several days. Eventually, he goes to the home of Montdidier's good friend and leads him to the crime scene. Afterwards, although the dog was known to be gentle and friendly with all, whenever he encountered Macaire, he'd growl and attack. This happened often enough that people started to talk, started to get suspicious, started to think about whether Macaire had a motive to murder Montdidier. Now all this came to the ears of the king. The king declared that Macaire should fight the dog in a judicial duel, trial by combat. Macaire was armed with a cudgel. The dog was unarmed, uh, except for dog. When the duel began, the dog immediately sprang onto Macaire and tore at him so viciously that Macaire confessed to the murder, and he was subsequently hanged for that crime. The dog spent the rest of his days with his master's old friend. Now, I have to admit, that's a hell of a good story. It inspired a 19th century play. It inspired a children's book. And there's a very dramatic bronze statue of the event in the courtyard of the Girodet Museum in central Montargis. There's even a stained glass window in the church depicting the duel. But is it true? Well, some of the details do vary from telling to telling. Sometimes the, they know the name of the dog. Sometimes the dog's name is unknown. And the breed, wolfhound, greyhound, something else. In one version of the story, the dog actually witnesses the murder. But I, I don't believe that one. I don't find that credible because it contradicts my own direct experience with dogs. If the dog was there to witness the murder, then why didn't he attack the assailant right there and then? I can't imagine a dog running away when his human is threatened. On the contrary, I think the reason that this story is so widely believed is that so many people know or have known a dog that they could see doing this very same thing. It lies squarely within the dog's nature and character to protect his pack. Uh, ask any mailman. Now tracking his owner's scent and then later identifying the killer by his scent would both seem to be well within the dog's abilities too. What about the dog going to Mont Didier's friend and leading him to the body? Well, haven't you seen that episode of Lassie where Timmy falls down the well? <laughs> so, prima facie, the story sounds reasonable. Perhaps you dog owners would like to weigh in on that one. Feel free to leave a comment. Those who consider the dog of Montargis to be a waggish tale point to Plutarch's On the Intelligence of Animals, which recounts a similar story told about a thousand years earlier. They suggest that it's become kind of an urban legend. A and that is possible. But dogs are dogs, and murder has always been a favorite human pastime. So maybe it's also possible that a similar event has happened more than once. When I was in school, I knew this girl. Uh, sweet kid, hippie chick, music major. She had a dog, nothing special, just a little mutt. She used to bring him by the radio station and we'd all pet him like, just like that. You know, he was just a regular dog, like a community dog. So she made a date with this guy. And when he goes over to her crib to pick her up, the dog goes ballistic. And no amount of down boy could chill that dog out. 
The dog freaking out made the chick freak out, and I guess the guy freaked out too. One way or another, they decided to cancel the date and try another time, maybe meet a, on campus someplace and go from there. But before they could arrange that second date, the guy got busted. Started out as a pot bust, ended up with him confessing to a couple of assaults and at least one forcible rape. So it turns out, that was a pretty good dog. Le Chien de Montagie. Folktale, legend, history. Do I believe it? I'll tell you what I believe. I believe you never trust anybody who doesn't like dogs. But more importantly, never trust anybody your dog doesn't like. What do you believe? <laughs>